creatures and critters, boy, do I have a project for you. Uh, this is a way of having a lot of fun and making all sorts of odd looking creatures. Uh, what I've done is I've have two pieces of paper and I marked them off. I actually folded them into four sections and I drew an elephant on one and I drew a pig on the other. And if you notice, their heads are in the same position so that when I cut them, I can take the segments and I can recombine them. So because I marked it off, I could tell that the head's going to fit on the pig body and then I decided to put the pig body on top of the part, top part of the elephant legs and now we suddenly have pig legs. So talk about a creature, this is it. And here's another example where I kind of reversed it and you can kind of mix and match them as much as you like. So this is an example, I have friends that like to draw and we have a lot of fun with this. I have a, just a general piece of paper that I've kind of sketched out some lines and I've marked, in this case, we've divided them into three sections and I've got two little dots there to show where the head goes and then a couple dots here to show where the waist is and this is for the bottom part of the legs. And here's some examples, here's a drawing that has a creature and here's a snowman, here's an elephant, you know, and way in the back, I've got Pinocchio, I've got all sorts of things mixed up, and I've cut those pieces of paper, so we have the, sec uh, the, the separate sections, and on this page, I punched a couple holes in it, and I used some of these posts to hold everything together, and after I cut those up, then you can mix and match. And so, let's see what this creature looks like with an elephant head, and let's pick a tomato worm body. There's an interesting looking creature. And here's a critter. And there's another one. So you can see that there are all these different possibilities and everybody has their own drawing style which adds to it and different ways of looking at things. And one thing that's really fun to do with this when you're a restaurant and you're waiting for your food and if you're having uh, some fun with your friends, do one of these drawings. In fact, Katie, yeah. why don't you come over and All help right. me do one of these things. And I'll tell Let's you what I'm gonna it. do. I'm gonna draw the head and I'm gonna mark where the head is with a neck and then I'm gonna fold it over so you can't see it. And then okay. you draw the next part and then you let me give the cues there where I have to finish it off. So Sounds good. very quickly. I love this idea of doing something while you wait, too. What a great idea. This would be fun to do at a party, too. You oh, could pass it around the table. If you, the more people, the better. And you could get several of these going around. OK. And oh, I peeked. I shouldn't have been watching while you did yours. Yep, you're not I'll supposed to away. see this. Okay. You're not supposed to see I'll look away. OK. And I'm you know, if you have, these are, are gel crayons. And they go on very quickly, very smoothly. So if you want a little bit of color, then this is a quick way to get them done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark just a little bit down here where the neck goes. And I'm going to fold this over so Katie doesn't see it. And I'm going to pass it to you. Okay. Now you draw the next part. Okay, oh. don't watch. So then I'll take my marker. I'll be looking at the different combinations here. Hmm, let's see, make some, make some, let's make some, marks here onto the next part yeah. and then I'm just going to pass it right back over to you. Okay, fold it over. All right, so I'm thinking that's the the waist. Okay. So, I'm going to confuse Katie here a little bit. I'm going to give this creature This is like a choose your own adventure. You get to flip through and find out what happens next. All right, so stripes. You could really get a lot of colors going on there too. Yeah, and special thing. Somebody has got to have hairy legs. <laughs> This would not be a oh, good drawing without, this would not be a proper critter without some hairy legs. Okay, now I'll mark that, I'll mark that, I'll mark that, I'll mark that. Okay, and I'll let you 
I actually need. You know, I think one of these fun things about doing art is you can do anything you like. Well, what's fun about this is that you end up making something that you normally wouldn't make. That's right. Okay, that's the last one. You've got to figure okay. out what that is. Okay, don't peek. Okay. Let's see here. I have to figure it out. Mm, or I can just surprise you. There we go. Let's see what we made. Okay. Let's unfold it and see what we've got. Aw, he's a lot of fun. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, that's fabulous. I love the duck feet. I Me like... too. You know, should have made four, but I think nope, it works. Nope, that kind of lines, it it's fun. keeps everything together. All right, oh. what a great tip. Okay, well, not only did you get an art tip, but you also got a good tip for what to do when you're sitting at a restaurant waiting for something to eat.